Sometimes you're just too busy to go to the clinic for a checkup. Or sometimes you spend hours in traffic just to get to the hospital only to find out that you spend more hours waiting in a hospital queue. But what if there was an app that allowed you to bring the best medical practitioners to treat you at the comfort of your own home? I'm RJ Ledesma, and tonight's bright idea is AID, your anytime, anywhere medical care. When you rush to a hospital for serious medical attention, the last thing you want is a long queue. Find out how an app cuts the waiting time and even takes out the need to go to the hospital. I'm with Patrick and Pam Bugayong, two out of a three-sibling team which currently runs AID. Now, if familiarity breeds contempt, this organization must be pretty contemptuous, huh? I see, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you guys get all you guys get I get you guys all left your day jobs, I guess. That's to, right. To come and, and, and join over here and put together aid. Yeah, that's so right. in, in a simple, very simple sentence, what's aid all about? Aid is uh, the first home service medical care app in the Philippines. Yeah. So with just a click on your phone, the aid app connects the patient to the right medical professional, whether it be a doctor, a nurse, a caregiver, a physical therapist, or even for animal care, we have. Oh them. wow! Okay. My question here is, uh, how do you guys, uh, when you put when you put this together, it sounds like it's the Uber for medical professionals yes, and connecting two that. people together. Um, how did you guys think about putting this app in the first place? I'm sure there was some sort of irritation that happened to you guys that you said, why wasn't there an app like this, right? Yeah, uh, it began really with our grandma. Okay. Uh, after a, a procedure that she had, she needed a nurse. Okay. And we couldn't find one right away. So, so it was a, it it was was a very emergency need? Type right. Of thing. Okay. And uh, so that was one. Uh, another is, um, I used to be uh, employed, mm -hmm. so as a working mom, I found it really very difficult to bring my kids, even myself, to the hospital mm -hmm. uh, because of responsibilities at work, at home. Mm -hmm. So one, one lunch, uh, Sunday lunch family get-together, we were discussing all these uh, problems, like mm -hmm. how getting medical care right now has become such a hassle. Okay. So we thought of combining business, technology, medicine into one, and we came up with it. As the saying goes, siblings are often partners in crime. With aid, these ates and kuyas not just found fun things to do, but they actually built something out of a bright idea. It came from the, the, from the paper and to, uh, to the app development. We had to gather talent from the Philippines and then we outsourced it to uh, talented young app developers. And after that, we built an in-house develop te development team with, actually with me as the tech supervisor. But we have um, good consultants with us, good gurus who are experts in their field that are with us all the way. So from the start to, the, to today, we still consult with them. A very interesting journey because you guys really came up with the idea, of course, over a need, but over Sunday lunch. But then tell me a bit more about the journey as to, okay, you guys were, were working for your companies, you quit your day jobs, you came over here, you pulled the money out of your own pockets to, to fund this one. Tell me a bit more about that journey. I think we had to believe in it first. Um, we sat down, we said, this is, this is a great idea, new idea, very, it's a novel idea. And we saw the need in the Philippines. We also saw the need for the medical professionals in the Philippines to get more jobs. So we said, let's talk about this, we'll think about it, and then if we agree, let's just quit and let's focus on this. I was the one who de helped design it, so I, I thought of how the patient might want the user experience. So from the app, uh, from the paper, we called on uh, the young developers to come with us, and then they told us that um, we can do this. So the, the app was developed from there. We designed it together. We started with doctors first, then we placed in nurses and PTs, and then we had uh, what, what we called like a, we, we tested the waters a little. So we, we had surveys, we contacted different people, around 100 different people to see if they really needed this app before we launched it. And then the survey came back and they really wanted also an inclusion of animal care. Okay. okay. So that's when we said, okay, we have to put in animal care. And then they wanted labs in it, so we had to put in labs. 
So from the first month to the uh, to October, we kept adding on. We kept from the doctor to the nurse to the PT to the vet and then to the lab. And then on October, we launched it on Android. For okay, so when you finally launched it on Android, how was that tech the first time that you finally put it online? It was watching it grow very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> it was like uh, one download and yeah, we got yeah. a download, we got to sign up. And it took like a month for it to be, to, for traction to begin. And how did you get the traction going? Was it word of mouth? Did you call people to, to go over there? Did you have anybody doing marketing for you guys? Well, for the users, it was mostly online. Yeah. Uh, marketing. It's shared also on Facebook, on Instagram. And then for medical professionals, we had to go to the clinics and the hospitals and say, hey, there's an app like this. Okay. Sign up with us. And, you know, med rep kayo, but yeah. you know, going on. And then I remember the first time, uh, it was uh, the three siblings, we would go to Max restaurant and announce it on Facebook that uh, aid is here in Max. If you're a medical professional who wants to join, just come meet us in Max, have a free lunch on us, and then sign up with us. Okay. So our first time we did that, we spent a whole day in this restaurant and only two people came. Then the next day, they, they, the, the two people started talking to other their friends. The next day, we waited again, eight people came. And then the next session, 10 people came until suddenly 30, 50 people were coming. And then we said, okay, there's, we're, 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 we're getting traction on the medical professional side. From the medical professional side, we have around almost 3,000. Doctors? Uh, all Next. medical professionals. All medical professionals. For doctors, we're around 700. I see. So the, all those from the doctors, nurses, nurses therapists, yes. up to your veterinarians, yes. 3,000. Yes. And since that time, how many patients have you served since October? Uh, patients, uh, well, users, we have around uh, 20. We have around 20. 20,000 users. 20,000 users since you started in October? Uh, yeah. Signed up. Signed uh, up, signed in, up. Uh, in the app. Uh, on a weekly basis, we get around 50 to 70 requests already. Requests. So that's around uh, 10 to 15, if I'm not mistaken, uh, a on day. a daily basis. On a daily basis, get actually served. Yes, booking. For future reference, I'd really like to find out how aid works for me and for my kids and hopefully for my future dog. Let's find that out right after the break. Need medical aid? Book a doctor with aid and get personalized services at your own time and convenience. Now, let's see the magic behind this app. And Dr. Pat Bugahing is joined by his brother uh, Paul over here, both the co-founders of uh, aid. And right now, this is where the magic happens, right guys? Yes. So this is the office, this over here is this your... This is our tech team and our design team. Ah, okay, so it's all in-house now? Yes, all in -house our two developers here. with our graphic artists and our quality insurance analysts. Okay, okay, very interested. I want to find out now how the app works. Okay, our app's user experiences, we made it very simple. So okay. right now you see the so most So this is the main page, version. this is the app, and you can download this on... on uh, uh, Google Play and App Store. Okay, great. So over here you've got... All, all this one here, you can choose from medical, nursing care, physical therapy, pharmacy home delivery, animal care, Diagnostics, interpret my lab and vaccines. Yes, and we okay. also have the talk to a doctor anytime. Ah, so you can talk to the doctor anytime? Yes, yeah. so 24 7. And how do you, so let's say for the doctors whom you call, uh, are they are they compensated ahead of time? How does this work for them? This is uh, fulfilled by our uh, our partner. Ah, you, you outsource that partner. Yeah. Ah, fantastic. So it, it, it gives that impression, of course, to the to the person calling in that it's a one-stop shop yes. right. for all your different home care yes. needs. Right. Okay, I got it now. Okay, so what? let's say we need a physical therapist. Okay. You click on physical therapy and then you schedule a home care appointment. Okay. So let's say you, you have your profile there, Juan de la Cruz, and then your problem is uh, you have orthopedics, sports, these are the types of therapies. So you could pick musculoskeletal. Okay, let's say that you were working very hard in the yes. show, so we got a musculoskeletal uh, yes. problem after that's done. So you, you could also input notes to the PD, so you could say we ha I have lumbar pain. Okay, got it. And then maybe you went to a doctor already, you have a doctor's order, so you click mm -hmm. yes. And then you just go next. And then the app itself will look for your your. So you got location. to make sure that your location is open. Yes. Okay, settings for location is open. Okay, so when they find your location, you could put in the landmark as well as the time. It's uh, difficult to... Okay. There, so it finds your location. You could put in the exact address as well. You could also put in the time, let's say 4 p.m. tomorrow. Okay. And then you put the landmark, let's say, Blu-ray. Okay. Okay, and then you send it. Then you confirm the sending. Once it's sent, it goes here. It's called pending now. You could see and review it. 
So it, it is now finding a physical therapist. And how long does it usually take to, to look for a physical therapist? <clears throat> a physical therapist usually takes five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. So it's sort of like, well, my comparison is Uber. So it's like, now it's, it's sending a message to everybody over right. there. Yes. Right. Seeing who is free for that specific right. day. So right. after a while, you'll see the, the list of uh, PTs who, uh, who booked you. Okay. And then... And then the rates will come out. The rates will come out. Yes. Okay. So that's it. So once you you pick a PT, you get you just book the pay, the PT you want based on the background, educational background, professional background, and then you click book, and then the PTs are uh, notified that you've been yeah. chosen. Prices are visible, so, so can you can compare across. Yes. All. yes. Okay. So what happens now here uh, at, at the other end here at the, the back room over here? So let's say when somebody places that that order for the PT. Tell me what happens here in the office. So our demand, or what we call our patient care associates, will see the demand yeah. side over there. Okay. They'll see that someone is looking for a physical therapist. So, just for an added touch, our, our, our care associates call the patient to get further details. Maybe if, if need be, or they will call immediately. If need be. If need be. Okay. So they, they they text the patient that we received your, and then aid is already looking for a PT. The app itself. Now, when, when she chooses a PT, we make sure the PT is ready as well. Okay. So that's our supply side where they also contact the PT. They make sure that the PT is ready for the, the, the appointment. He's so, ready for the So request. for the supply side, when it's done, it's not sort of like an algorithm running to find yeah. the PTs, but it's more of somebody really just uh, calling over here to find uh, the No, the actually, our, our app does all the algorithm. So our app automatically sends it and books everything. But we like the added touch of a human person actually calling yeah. the people. We still do it. We still do the human touch. So just to double check, love. Yes. Right. And that, that's part of that, that, that five minute process yeah. to get right. back to the person yes. over there. Currently, we're encoding our pharmacy into the app. Okay. Like, uh, over the okay. counter medications, prescription medications. It's, it's being encoded as we speak. And then we're also, they're also currently encoding and updating our app to include an emergency system, an ambulance service, which I we see. already partnered with. Uh, my graphic artist is constantly putting up uh, posts on Facebook, making new uh, icons for our app. And then our quality assurance expert usually checks everything. So makes sure that all the codes are correct. Mm -hmm. There are no bugs when we release it to the public. And when it goes live, it may, we have to be sure that nothing crashes. And when I look at it, it I, I like how you're sort of developing an ecosystem where, okay, you can get the doctor here and you can also get your prescription meds here at the same right. time. Yes. And I guess because that's the doctor ready to just get, you just have to get the prescription yes. and then the, the, the med just gets sent as long as you get the prescription. Yes. And then you're, then you're fine over there. Yep. Okay. And then tell me a bit more about, uh, at least from the supply side, how does the recruitment process come in? The supply side, as of today, most of the medical professionals contact them okay. uh, for, by word of mouth or referrals. And then they contact them for sessions or sign up sessions in different malls or places near them. Uh, recently, just maybe today, I think they went to a health training center <coughs> and they presented our app to them and then they got sign ups from them. Okay. And what's the vetting process like? The vetting process includes um, documents, uh, I think around 10 documents from MPI clearance to their PRCI license to their resume and back, uh, educational background. Then we have to verify it. Once it's verified, that's the only time that the, U the medical professionals offered a password, okay. a unique password for them. So no one can log into the app unless they're verified by us. So basically there's an app for the patient and there's an app right. for the professional. Yes. Yep. And for the app for the professional, it's always got to be open, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Or, or it's, it's like Uber where you can shut it down and open it up when you no, need. No, it's always open. It's always open. Always open. Okay, it's always open right yeah. now. And for them to be, to, to be signed up over here, is it free of charge? For the doctors or, or for the professionals or are they charged something to be part of this uh, There's a, what we call a subscription fee or mm. usage fee. It's uh, around 300 a month just so that they can get used to the app and they're motivated to use it more and book more patients. I think for PTs, uh, doctors and nurses, we haven't heard any um, complaints about it. Okay. I think it's it's only fair that it's a it's like a membership fee for them. For membership fee, okay. It's a membership yeah, fee. It's, it's like a buy-in. Yes, and, a buy -in. and we include benefits for them like discounts on training, mm -hmm. certifications. So it's more of like a benefit, like a membership card when you, when when you, you show when your you app. For the demand side, they go usually to uh, heavy populated areas who have our target market, let's say like uh, gyms. Okay. Or for senior citizen days during churches. And then they give out flyers and they talk about aid, what we can do for them. So we also provide like promo codes for different people so that you could try aid, we'll give you a 10% discount. Oh, okay, 
And what are the actual goals that you have for these people? I'm looking at your, I know this is your confidential <laughs> sales one, but what are you guys looking at, uh, to, to at least in terms of uh, converting the number of inquiries and at least the number of people uh, signing up? Yeah, we, well, one, we're focusing on uh, users and active users. Mm -hmm. And we want to grow and uh, consistently grow at 4% a week. Um, now, what's more important for us is actually the user experience. Mm -hmm. That we don't want to compromise and no tricks. So we want to focus there and make everybody realize and experience that, hey, aid works, you know, and, and it saved me a lot of stuff. So that's the heart of it. That's what we're focusing on. I like how you put it, that aid works. But the bigger question here right now is, is aid making money? And we'll find that out <laughs> right after the break. And the verdict, of course, comes from customers who have relied on aid during critical times. Let's find out how aid has transformed the way doctor's appointments are booked from actual users. And this is Joanna, and I understand you're a very happy customer yes. of our friends from Aid. So tell me, how did you first find out about Aid? Well, actually, I was a member of Consulta MD okay. uh, at Globe. Okay. Then Consulta MD referred me that there is a medical app for um, specialists that I can request, and then they can go to my house. Oh, so, so you, you, it was really from the from Consulta that Consulta you found out MD, yeah. about them as well. Yes. And why did you want them? Why did you need somebody to go to your house? What was the requirement? You were very busy. You couldn't you couldn't get out. Yes, actually, as a businesswoman, so I have to maximize my time. So mm -hmm. I do everything. The first time I requested for um, a family doctor. A family doctor. Yes. Okay. Nice. And then you don't you didn't mind paying the premium for the doctor to come over to the house. Yes. That was okay along with you. It's okay. And I understand you also second time used it again. Yes. And um, you were very happy with the second service as well? Of course. Oh. The second time I use it, I use the app. You used you went directly yes, to the app? Yes, it was actually app. very easy to use. So when I booked an app and requested for an ENT doctor, and then they called me right away, and I was scheduled the next day. So great. So there's, there's ease of use also as well for the app. Yes. And uh, would you recommend the app to other people now? Of course, I will. I actually did okay. to my friends. <laughs> so great. even my friends, when they saw it uh, in my house, they said, oh, who is, who is she? She's a doctor. Oh, there's, the doctor can go here, yes, yeah, so I recommend it to well, them. That's great, so there's ease of use and there's also, you don't mind the premium that you pay because the service is yes, actually very excellent. Yes, it's actually worth it. And we're back with Paolo Bugayo, who is a co-founder of AID. And I guess the most important question here, of course, is, are you guys making money? But, but, Paolo, before that question is answered, Let's just go back a bit more into the business model that you guys have for aid. So basically, yeah. you're sort of like, in my head, you are the Uber for home care. Right, okay. right. And so the model basically is that, uh, are you making a, uh, a commission or a flat fee based right. on the number of people? Can you tell us a bit more about the model? So it's a, uh, we're a two-sided marketplace. Mm -hmm. So we have the supply and we have the demand. Uh, we get a commission or a percent from the transaction. So technically, that's a short of the business model. Um, now, at the beginning when we started this, we were mm -hmm. thinking, which one should we start? Should we start getting the supply first? Mm -hmm. Or should we start getting the demand first? Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we ended up, it just happened that the supply for medical professionals started gaining ground. Okay. It, the traction in that side was, was, was great for us. Mm -hmm. Now, where we are today is that we're trying to increase the demand. Since we have the supply already, we want the demand there. Okay. So our medical professionals or other services will be happy. I guess also another part of how we, how we uh, earn from this is that these medical professionals pay a membership fee okay. to be part of the aid platform. Okay. Is it a subscription fee or, a, or is it a one-time fee? It's a subscription fee. Okay. And uh, the, I guess the most important part is for them to renew. If you go to a clinic, you have to factor in your your commute expense. If mm -hmm. let's say you take an Uber to the clinic, you'll probably spend like 100, 150. Okay. That's one. Also, you're probably spending the time while waiting for your physician to actually attend to you. Okay. Now this one, the doctors actually built that in already. Okay. Uh, so if I were to answer that, I would say same. If not, even better, because you're able to do other things in the house while waiting for them to come. In other words, all the economic costs are also built into the exactly. model that you guys have over right. here. Right, right. Uh, and I, as I'm looking at the model as well, I'm, I'm thinking like for some of us, like I have my own, I have my own HMO, right. um, I have my own, um, let's say that, 
credit card system? How about these other payment plans? Are you able to bring in HMOs ready into the business model? Are you able also to bring in, let's say, uh, credit cards and other modes of payment? Because right. right now, I understand it's just cash, right? That's correct. Um, for the HMO, we're still working on that. Uh, so today, it's not yet available. For credit card, we're looking at next year. You could actually pay for those services through card. We're looking at PayPal also on uh, those trans transactions. But right now, the payment gateway is cash. Cash. Right now, it's cash. Now, um, moving ahead, I mean, this is a really great business what you're doing, but it's not wholly original in the sense that other people might, you know, if you have a good idea, other people might have had the same good right. idea as well. Right, right. And in the country, people are also trying to establish similar setups. Right. So, what do you think is your closest competitor when it comes to aid? I would say OLX. Mm -hmm. We uh, are Facebook groups, but none exists similar to us yet. Okay. At least here in the, in, the, in the Philippines. At least I could say that we're the first in the country. Uh, but that doesn't mean good. It, it just means that we're able to start the traction, but we have to make ourselves even better as we I go see, along. I see, I see. Because again, uh, like what you said, you know, somebody can just try to do it. Mm -hmm. So what, I guess our competitive advantage, okay. I could say, is that we vet our medical professionals. We partner with uh, one of the, uh, the, the best clinics around. We partner with uh, uh, medicine delivery. And so we tried to get them with us at, as early as today. We were able to close a seed round early this year. Uh, it's about oh, almost $400,000. Okay. Um, but again, we're looking at raising funds again as, as we go along. Um, probably we could call it a pre-Series A. Okay. Uh, or, you know, whatever round that is later on. And how are you guys going through the process of actually approaching the investors? We start with angel investors. Okay. Um, friends, family. Uh, we, we sell the idea to them. We sell ourselves to them. And we tell them, you know, look, we're 100% committed on this. Okay, and we quit our jobs. Yeah, I know. <laughs> for us. Okay, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So we sell the business model. We sell the idea. And uh, again, it's trying to get their trust also. So we may, we make sure there's clean communication with all our investors. Okay. And with this one, how do you plan to actually scale this business? So right now, you've got Metro Manila. How do you plan to scale by increasing the number of uh, medical uh, providers or also by increasing the geography, right. bringing it abroad? What are your plans? Well, today we, we're focusing on Metro Manila. We want to perfect the business model here. Okay. And then once we get that right, we'll bring it down to Visayas, we we'll bring it down to Mindanao. Today, we're lucky that we get bookings in those areas. Okay. Uh, so, so it shows that there's a demand it's already. It's a demand. Correct. Okay. So now we, got, we have to work on the supply. Making sure that there's doctors in that area, doctors in the south area, and then trying to connect them again. So, but, you know, when we get these requests, even in those areas, we try. We really try to service them and try to check with our rosters. Maybe we have a doctor in, in Cebu. Um, but, you know, in terms of marketing, yes, we're focused here in Metro Manila. And five years down the road, where do you guys see it? Do you plan to go IPO, sell it to a bigger investor? What do you guys plan to do with uh, A? Well, I guess the big dream of me and my partners is that we're able to take this not just nationwide, but regional. Mm -hmm. uh, that's our big dream. Of course, an IPO or a good uh, merger and acquisition down the road wouldn't, wouldn't help, right? It would be very exciting for us. But that's right. Yeah. And I guess the bigger question right now, after being in operation since October last year, have you conceptualized this in April last year? Are you guys making money? I could say we haven't broken even. Okay. But uh, revenue is coming in. Revenue is coming in. Coming in. And, and given how, how you, you've seen the cash flows, you know your OPEX, you know your CAPEX, how soon do you think you'll be making money? Uh, from starting today, probably another two to three years. Two to three years. To break even. Okay, so uh, I'm going to wish you luck because I know it's time to be an entrepreneur. Thank you. Day job, going Thank doing you. this, and then of course going to the rounds. It's a great experience. It's a harrowing experience at the same time. But I'm glad because you've got some doctors on call who might need, who you might need some help from. Thank you, yeah. As you put yeah. up this business. Yeah. Again, Thanks. guys, congratulations Thanks so much. to the guys. Congratulations Thanks so much. To Good luck, guys. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, RJ. When your body says something is wrong, you need to listen and act on it. And with AID, you get the expert medical treatment you need anytime and anywhere without having to wait in hospital line.
because with your health, that is something you can put on hold. I'm RJ Ledesma. Join me again for another Bright Idea.